You're running the secondary break to CL Brown after North Carolina's 80 to 59 win at Louisville. Now the big story from this game was not the fact that Armando Baycott, after looking like he was gonna miss several games and be out for an extended period with the sprained left ankle suffered in the first two minutes against Virginia, Armando came back like he never left, started, had a double-double in the first half. He finished with 14 points and 16 rebounds, acting, you know, doing the things that Armando does for this team. The bigger story to me was kind of the people that are in the supporting roles. You had Puff Johnson, who started in place of Pete Nance, who missed his third straight game with a back injury. Puff had 12 points, including two big three-pointers, during the second half run that essentially knocked Louisville out, got the lead up to 16 and, and it was never close after that. You also had DeMarco Dunn come off the bench for a career high, uh, 13 points. And more importantly, Dunn locked down L. Ellis. Ellis got off to a quick start for Louisville. He had 11 of their first 15 points. Once Dunn got him on him in that first half, Ellis didn't score the rest of the half. He, he finished with 22, but he took 16 shots to get there and was, was never really a factor in, in pulling the upset. So this game was positive for Carolina because there's been so many times this year they've had a lead on teams. They've let them hang around. You know, some of those games they won, some of those games they ended up losing, uh, especially against the better competition. So this was... The first time it seems like that they had a bad team down and kept them down. So that's certainly something Hubert Davis wants to see continue as they move forward with Boston College up next. That'll do it for the secondary break. Please click on those like buttons. Subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Come back and run it with me later on.